Next, we want to start adding attributes and values to our cases. So describing these cases so that as a result, we can have a classification sheet uh, that resembles something like I showed you from my own research. Because at the moment, if we right click on this person classification and choose to open classification sheet, all we can see are just the names of our cases. Because NVivo does not automatically assign any attributes on or values to our participants. So all these uh, attributes like age or gender, they have to be inserted manually. So let's start adding these attributes and values. Uh, to do this, we need to right click on the person classification and choose to add a new attribute. Now, in general, what we will be doing is adding these attributes or these characteristics that we want to appear here in this table or classification sheet, adding them manually here. So what we need to do for each is decide on its name and decide on its format. So which is the, the format in which the values for this given attribute will appear. So for example, if we want to uh, add an attribute that will take a numerical value, so will be expressed in numbers, we need to select this one. So this would be, for example, our age, which we will add in a second. If we want to insert values for each uh, attribute, so just uh, express them with our own words, we need to select text, because then we'll be adding these values through this menu here, or directly through the classification sheet, as I will also show. We have a few more options. So for example, this is another value that is numerical. And here are some values that uh, enable us to determine or describe something, some attribute that can be expressed with a date or time or both. And the last one is a kind of format in which uh, the value takes only yes or no uh, response. So let's start with this one to give you an example. And let's introduce a new attribute or characteristic that we'll call poor childhood. Because as you can remember, we spotted uh, this element in some of our biographies and we thought that maybe in the future it would be worth investigating. So for this, I just want this table to clearly show me, once of course I fill it in manually, which participants had this poor childhood and which did not have. At a very late stage of our analysis, this will also be analyzed. So we'll be able to actually compare, for example, coding for those with poor childhood uh, with uh, the coding for those who did not experience this, this kind of problems. Now, as you can see, as I click on the values menu, so this is the general menu and the values menu shows us that there are two values, the no and yes values to this attribute. So now let's just click OK. And as you can see, this category or this attribute uh, appeared in our table, in our classification sheet. So for example, if we remember that this footballer had a poor childhood, all we need to do is just select yes. So this way we started to gradually uh, create our classification sheet. We have our poor childhood attribute and then we can analyze or read through all the other biographies and decide whether they did have or didn't have poor childhood. Maybe in the future we'll use it in our analysis to, for example, compare those with poor childhood with those who did not experience uh, this kind of problem. Or at the very least, this could be our a participant profile table. So again, maybe this will be useful. So let's continue to add some uh, more attributes. So again, go to person, right click and click on new attribute. So this time I would like to add their age. As I said before, uh, this would need to be expressed in uh, numerical values. So let's just select this. And now we can, if we go to the values menu, we, in theory, we can add each single value to a given attribute, which sometimes is not a problem or even desirable if we don't have many 
uh, values and we have some clear values that we expect there to be so for example as I'll show you in a second uh, gender so we'll just insert male or female but for example for age it doesn't make any sense to do this manually because we would need to insert every single uh, selection that we expect uh, there to be in these boxes instead all we need to do is just click OK and uh, manually type in the age for a given footballer because we chose this numerical value so let's just check somebody's age from our list here as you can see he was born in 1981 so this would mean he's uh, 37 years old so let's just find him in this table and what we need to do now is to highlight this unassigned button and just insert the age manually so I'll just put 37 here this way we have another attribute and we have a value for him uh, saying that he's 37 years old. I've al already mentioned gender so let's add gender as well to our uh, table so again let's go to classifications right click new attribute and add this gender attribute uh, so in this case this will need to be a text attribute because we will have to insert the text for its values so this time let's do this from this menu here so all we need to do is to click the add button and enter the options or the selections that will be available to us so add male and add female again click OK and this time we can start selecting their gender I hope that by now it becomes more or less clear to you uh, what these attributes and values are all about and how to add them we started this lesson by saying that it's one of the uh, possible or available options for categorizing our data. So as, as I said, sometimes you may want to do this in the initial stages of your research, uh, just to do that, to categorize your data, just to have this table available to you, to be able to visually inspect the differences, even if you're not planning to run any uh, detailed queries comparing these different uh, characteristics. Sometimes you won't be 100% sure what kind of value certain attribute should take. So I do encourage you to experiment it, uh, to experiment with these values and attributes because to be honest I tend to forget sometimes what these are and for example I'm not sure what kind, what type of value should a given attribute take. So for example if you wanted to uh, to insert an attribute that will be called age range where you give them uh, or yourself the selections for example between 10 and 20 between 20 and 30 in this case you wouldn't be able to achieve it with this kind of value so you would need to select text value and add your options manually so for example 20 to 30 or 30 to 40 so you would need to do this manually uh, similarly sometimes you'll have some another idea for what you want to add to this table but as you'll see it's not that difficult you just need to experiment really with what these options are